Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I want to talk about heavyweight prospect Arslan Bek Makhmadov, who's returning to the ring on September 23rd against Erkan Tepper, in which I look at as kind of a step up fight for Makhmadov. Now, Makhmadov, I think he's 12 and 0 with 12 KOs. Nobody's been past the first three rounds with him, so he's definitely, you know, got power. And he's done what he's supposed to do against the level of opposition he's been in there with so far. And that is get them out of there. And he's done that very early in the fight. So that's impressive. He's definitely showing that he's definitely got a lot of power. Now, Makhmadov has been in there with some decent journeyman level opponents, in my opinion. Such as Jonathan Rice, you know, Dylan Carmen, and a very old washed up Sam Peter. We also saw him recently in there with Pavel Sauer, who just fought Huey Fury. And... Now, the best of those opponents, I'd say, is probably Jonathan Rice, um, who we've just seen upset uh, Michael Co Coffey. You know, he stopped Coffey. Jonathan Rice is a big man, you know, pretty athletic, always comes in shape. He's got a pretty good, solid jab, as well as a good right hand behind the jab. Decent boxing ability for, you know, a big man. And we've seen Jonathan Rice in there with other prospects, such as uh, F.A. Jagba, Tony Yoka, and... Um, who else did he fight? Like I say, and he, he just upset Michael Coffey. So, in the Yoka fight, I thought it was a pretty competitive fight between Rice and Yoka. I think Yoka just, you know, outworked him a bit and wanted it a bit more than him. And then the Ajagba fight, he took Ajagba the distance as well. And Ajagba is a, you know, a well-known puncher in the heavyweight division. Also, a prospect that, you know, is fighting uh, Sanchez. I did a video on that, prediction video on that fight as well. But he took uh, Ajagba and Yoka the distance and he stopped Coffee. So, you know, Rice is, in my opinion, a pretty underrated uh, fighter in the heavyweight division. And Makhmadov got him out of there within the first three rounds as well. So, in my opinion, that's pretty impressive. I'm not sure how much of a step up Tepper is um, from uh, Jonathan Rice. He might not be, he might actually be a step down from Jonathan Rice, to be honest, at this point in Tepper's career. Other than off name. You know, and the opponent's Tep has been in there with in the past. But at this stage of Tepper's career, in my opinion, he's pretty much finished. He's 39 years old. He's fighting, you know, four-rounders and stuff against Journeyman. And, you know, his last actual real fight was against Robert Elenius, where he got knocked out in the eighth round. Um, he really hasn't been the same since he fought David Price. And, you know, he tested positive there. And I think since, you know, he's come off the stuff, he hasn't quite been the same level of, of opponent from what, you know, I've read in the media, so, uh, his other notable opponents that he fought is, you know, Christian Hammer and Marius Wack, somehow managed to lose a unanimous dis decision to Marius Wack, which in my opinion is pretty hard to do, you know, Wack, I mean, how do you lose a unanimous decision to Marius Wack, I mean, Marius Wack is as well, he, this point of his career, is just a punching bag in the, in the ring, you know, he's a big slob, very good chin, you know, trying to stop Morris Wack. Now, that's another story. That's a hard thing to do. But losing a unanimous decision to Morris Wack is pretty it's pretty hard to do, in my opinion. Wack has a low punch output. He's extremely easy to hit. You know, he hasn't got much power. Um, you should easily uh, get past Morris Wack if you have any, you know, level of ambition left, you know, in, in, in your boxing career. And obviously, he lost the unanimous decision to Morris Wack. And then he also lost a close split decision to uh, Christian Hammer. So since he fought Price, he hasn't really picked up any notable wins. Um, but the other few decent wins on his record, I'd say, is probably Johan Duopo and, and Derek Rossi, Rossi. But that was before, you know, fighting David Price. So we don't know um, what he was doing, you know, in preparation for those fights. Now, Tepe is still, you know, a tough guy. Um, so... It may, I'm not sure if it's a step up, but like I said, it's a step up in terms of name. But uh, nonetheless, I expect Makhmadov to blow um, Erkan Tepa out, probably stop him as well in under three rounds, maybe maximum four rounds, because Tepa, like I said, is quite tough. But Tepa, he's a very basic fighter. He's extremely easy to hit, flat-footed, um, decent high guard, but I think Makhmadov will easily be able to get round the high guard, you know, hooks to the side of the head. Um, you know, jab straight down the middle of the guard, split the guard. He has a pretty solid right hand as well, by the looks of things. Makhmadov, uh, in behind the jab, you know, very hard left hook as well. Um, so I can't really see any way Erkan Tepe is going to win this fight um, because he doesn't have the same level of firepower as Makhmadov. 
Makhmudov, like I say, he's an, uh, an aggressive come forward fighter. I think he's better, better on the front foot. If you could somehow push Makhmudov back, um, take his power and push him back, I think then we may see his game start to fall apart or falter a little bit. But being, will he be able to push Makhmudov back? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think he quite has the firepower to do that, although he has some power, 13 knockouts in his 21 victories. But at this stage of his career, he's 39 years old. I don't think he has the, the physicality and the fitness to uh, try and try and do what it would take to push Makhmudov back and get him on the back foot and try to rough him up. So I can, see, uh, in my opinion, Makhmudov is going to you know, stop Urk and Tepper pretty easily in this fight. And then I'd like to see him step up against a guy as well like Gerald Washington or something. But um, even then, I'm not sure Washington is much of a step up from Jonathan Rice, if any. A bit of a step up, but also guys like um, Charles Martin, I'd like to see him in there with, you know, those level of uh, Dominic Bra Brazil, those types of guys, you know, tough game guys that are, you know, have a decent world ranking. That's who I'd like to see Mahmoudov maybe fight next as a guy like Dominic Brazil, you know, a very tough, durable guy with a bit of power. That's who I would really like to see him fight next. Um, let me know in the comment section below who you want to see uh, Mahmoudov fight next if he gets past Urkin Tepper. Or let me know if you see any way Urkin Tepper can uh, pull up the upset in this fight. Maybe I'm, you know, uh, completely overlooking Urkin Tepper and making a, a horrible misread on the fight. Let me know in the comment section below. But thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you guys again soon. Cheers.